Very well. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 1497. Check if array pairs are divisible by k. So in this problem, we are given an array of even size and we are also given a value k. So now what do we have to do? We have to form pairs such that when we add them together, say for example, this one, when added with this 9, will form a 10, which is exactly or perfectly divisible by 5. Now again, this two can be added with this eight and that also forms 10, which is exactly divisible by five. Then again, six and 14. So if you look here, all of them are formed into a pair, which is exactly divisible by five. So now in this case, you will return true. Now, say for example, instead of this eight, say there was a seven here. So in this case, it will not be solved, right? Why? Because this pair cannot be formed and so in that case we have to return a false now if you look the problem very closely you will understand one thing what is that say for example this one can be added with this nine to form something that is divisible by five but also this one can also be added with this 14 as well so what is something that is common with four and nine say this one is bringing one to the table and what it is it is saying is I need four more such that I will be divisible by five. It needs just four more, but it will accept anything which is, which gives modulus of four. Say for example, this nine modulus five equals four, right? Similarly, 14 modulus five is also equal to four. So any other number can just bring a modulus of four. So this will be this one will accept four, it will also accept nine, 14, and so on. So all you need is a modulo of that number. Then similarly goes with six as well, all right? What is it? The modulo, this six will once again accept all this number. Why is that the case? See, you need not add to this number, you just have to add to the modulo. So in both cases, what we can do is we can take the modulo, 6 modulo 5 1 so what is it expecting it is expecting a modulo of 4 so very simple right so what we do we get the modulo of every number so in this case the modulo is just equal to 1 2 1 4 4 if this is 8 that will be equal to 3 now if you do this there is 1 there is four, we can cancel out one again, four, then two, three. It easily cancel out, right? So that is how we will be doing. Now, there is a corner case in this problem. It is given in the problem that the numbers can also be negative. One pro tip I will give you before you solve this problem. In your programming language, just try to find out what is minus four percentage three. I want you to do this because most of you will be expecting the answer will come out to minus two, but that is not the case here. This will actually come to minus one and in some programming languages, it will also come to minus two. So it is very language dependent. So I want you to check in your language what will be the output of this problem. Now for this case, what we will do minus one percentile three will actually give you minus one, which is of no use for us, right? Because we want something like this. So what do we do here? We just add three to this, that is K to this, that will become two. And once again, we take a modulo by k that will be equal to 2. What does this mean? This means that this can be added by a number which is same in order to get the. So what does this need? Minus 1 will give you minus 1, 2. And so this 2 is expecting someone who is giving this one. So minus 1 plus 1 will actually lead to a 0. So this is very important. What is the formula that we used here? The formula in simple that we used here is the number. Say the number is I percentile K. Don't forget to add a K here. Then take the overall modulo percentile K. So that's it. You need not even take this, but this is a general formula that is used and you have to remember this. Uh, and this can easily be understood with this very simple example. Now, 
the next one how do we store this right so should we use a hash map or should we use the array actually both of them can be used in order to store the modulo but i would prefer an array why because if you look here the modulo can never go greater than k it will always be less than k and it is given in the problem k will be less than 10 power 5 or something so constructing or using an array is very simple in this case so let's do this for example now initially all of this will be equal to zero now what is the modulo one so it will start from here so it will get increased by one then again two it will get increased so this will become two then again this will become one then this will become two then this will become one so while the final step is to go through the entire array and this has to be divisible by two because it forms a pair with itself say for example you have a five here you need another 15 right so that is the case here and this one what is it searching for this is searching for k minus one that is four so this two have to be equal and again these two have to be equal if they are not equal we will return false if they are equal and everything is fine we will return true so this will be the very simple code first we construct the modulo array then after that we compare each of the element if that is not satisfying we will return false and finally we will return true thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe